What's up everybody? Built on Stone Farm Culture, Hop Farm. And look who we caught in a trap last night. Little raccoon buddy. Hey buddy. This guy's one of the nicest raccoons I have ever came across. So I'm not gonna dispose of him like I would something attacking my predator. I'm going to take him far away and release him. Or her. We're gonna take us a walk in the woods, a good mile or so. There's a there's an old abandoned house, or like an old abandoned homestead in the woods on this uh, huge piece of property that a very prominent lawyer in the area owns a lot of the property out here. And it doesn't get used. There was someone on this property at one point, but it got abandoned. There's a bunch of abandoned houses and actually some wild ponies back there. Maybe we'll catch them. So we're going to take a walk through the woods and we're going to go re relocate this guy. We've been walking for a good 45 minutes. I got to the old, I'll go back to it. I got to the old abandoned homestead, but it just wasn't far enough from my homestead personally to, to release this guy. So I walked another 15, 20 minutes, and this looks like a great spot for him. There's blackberry, just this field is just full of blackberry briars. Trees, the creek drops down on that side over there. We're a good two miles away from my homestead. Hopefully that'll be enough space that he doesn't come back and end up getting himself killed when he doesn't need to be. Let this guy go. Oh, got stuck by a blackberry briar. Okay. Let's see how fast this guy wants to get out of here. Oh yeah, he's out fast. Free. Let's see if we can't go back and find that uh, homestead for you guys. So I'm coming up on this open field up here and uh, heading towards that old homestead. And I came across these the ponies that I was talking about earlier. Let's see if I can get close to them without scaring them. Okay, let me turn this around. I don't know if you can see them yet, but they're all out in this field. Not the sun's blocking your view or not, guys. There's one over here, and there's three over here. The last time I seen them, there was a lot more. So this is probably one little group of them. All right, the the buildings and homestead is. The rundown stuff is back in here, so let's let's take a walk back in there and see if we can't find the buildings. Pretty cool. So I was able to circle around and get inside where they are, and get a closer look. And they're just staring at me or eating. And there's another one out there. Until they've been back here for a while, here's the remnants of a skull. One of them. I wonder if the uh, the coyotes that are back here. I wonder if they hunt these things. I'm coming up on some more of them. 
there's about four on the other side of those trees in another field ones that I didn't show you yet there's two you can barely see right in between those trees there right in the middle and there's more over here now this guy looks big just looking at me coming at him right now oh there's two right there as soon as I came through it's like they're guarding this own old homestead it's right in those woods back there if I can get back there to it I'll show y'all I don't know how aggressive these things are if they are at all I mean they're not I'm 25 30 maybe 40 yards from them holy moly look out in that field right there all those are horses they look more like mules almost. I guess the breeding process. There's only so many genes they've got back here. Hey big boy. What you coming at me for? You wanna see how close we can get to them? Why not, right? Hey buddy, you a boy or girl? You're a boy. Hey buddy, is that your is that your woman? Hey bud, what are you doing? You okay? Hey buddy. Now I'm probably 10, 15 yards from him. They're smaller ponies. They're smaller. They're ponies, I guess. They're smaller horses. Hey, buddy. I'll watch my back. There's one behind me. I should be able to hear it coming. That'd be awesome if I could pet this guy. See how close he'll let me get. Hey, big guy. What are you doing? About five yards away. Really, really furry. A lot like a donkey. There's a bunch of them out here. Just when I get closer, like that one right there is a pretty one I just looked up. Yeah, I guess I get closer. Furry tendencies. As those other ones, they're fur. They definitely don't have the same type of coat as the typical horse you see on TV or the horse that. People like to ride. I'm not a horse guy, as you can tell. I'm probably butchering everything I'm saying here. Definitely look like some workhorses, though. Hey, pretty girl. And I know where to get some horse manure. Let's just walk straight up to this girl and see what she does. Let's not walk up behind her though. Let's walk up to her front. Nope, she wants nothing to do with me. 
so we'll leave her alone. That's a pretty girl back there too. Got cow markets. Go back here and grab my cage. All right, so I made it back here to this old homestead. Tell me this old. I can't tell you what kind of car that is, but it's been sitting there for a while. Old school. I'll set my cage down right here. I'll give, give you guys the tour. Someone's been using it for target practice. Old barn here. Old tobacco barn. Another barn up here. There's a horse right in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. Hanging out. I figured they took advantage of these. There's another one back there behind the barn. I figured they took advantage of these barns out here. And really cold snow or uh, rain. They can dip down in those barns right there. She looks pregnant right there. Boy, she's got a fat old belly. Oh yeah, that one's pregnant. Where are you going, big girl? Let's see if there's any. Yeah, there's droppings in here, so they definitely come in here. Old tobacco bar. That building has completely fell down since I've been back here last. There was a building right here. Like it could have been a chicken coop. Look at these. A well. Open. This is the main house. Look at the size of this vine that is climbing up this main house. That is ridiculous. Right there, climbing up this house, and then going over here to this tree. Another open pit. Some sort of well.
another barn. This is the main house. Let's get up close to it and see how they put it together. See how they built this cabin back here. Logs going across and then they took clay in the mud, filled it in, and then shingled the outside. I'm definitely not going in here. I might not come out. So that's the little abandoned homestead. Look at that big pile of manure. Might need to get some five gallon buckets back in here and collect some manure, guys. All right, that's all I got. Take a walk back to the farm. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, share it with your friends. You never know. Maybe they like videos of people walking around.